The first people to populate Europe were black people. They were known as Gromorodi. First people to populate England were black people. They were known as Bika. First people to populate India were black people. They were known as Dravidians. First people to populate Japan, black people. They were known as Masaba Negroes. Mulembe, Kamaku, Wagasile, they came from here. They populated Japan. That's why Japanese names are like Uganda names. Takahara, Nakamura, Kato, Toyota, all of those. Because the first Japanese were black people. Humanity went through five stages. The first stages are known as Australopithecine, black. Where were they living? Where you are living? How old? How long ago? 5.5 million years ago. Who was living in Europe at that time? No one. Who was living in Asia at that time? No one. Who was living in America North? None. America South? None. Bismarck Archipelago? No one. Australia? Tonga? None. Haiti? Fiji? Samoa? Who was living there? No one. Humanity was only here. 3.5 million years ago, Homo habilis. Where was he living? Here. Was he living elsewhere? No. 1.5 million years. Humanity at the stage of Homo erectus. The African that walks upright. Where is he living? Here. He lives here to populate the world. He passes through the Gulf of Eden, avoids Saudi Arabia, crosses into India. And then he goes through Kenya, Nijikenda, Tayar in Australia and populates all the islands in between. Avoids Israel, avoids Jordan, avoids Syria. He also discovers fire. Then 150,000 years, modern man known as Homo sapien. Homo sapien. The oldest Homo sapien, the bones discovered in Homo Valley in Ethiopia and Kenya. He started where? Here. Then he moves with his feet and his cows, mobile food, and his language, articulated symbolic language, and his brain, a bigger cranium, and he populates Europe. He is the first person to populate Europe about uh, 40,000 years ago, known as Gromordi. In ancient time, the whole world belonged to the black man, the black woman. You are the people that populated the world. You are the people that gave birth to everybody else. And quite significantly, and I am telling you this as a scholar, I have a library of 32,000 books. I have read each one of them. Not only read them, but remember them. I have traveled in almost every corner of the world, lectured at the most prestigious universities. I am telling you that in ancient time, the old, the whole people who are on earth were you and your ancestors. You. And you are also the people of the scriptures. All scripture, be it the Rigvit Veda, the Nama Pali, the Peran Peru, the Papyrus of Ani, the Papyrus of Hunefa, the Quran, the Bible, the Book of the Rosta, the Epic of Gilgamesh, is all about black people. Black people. But I know you have not heard about this information. Why? Because when white people colonize the world, they also colonize the information about the world. Some of you who have maids at home, or if you get a maid when you finish this college, you are not going to teach that maid chemistry. You are not going to teach him about viruses and pathogens. You are not going to teach them about coach postulates. Because if they learn about this, they'll be saying, if you say, go and cook, you say, oh, you know what, I cooked yesterday. And today, you might as well go and do your own cooking. Because I'm busy reading this wonderful book, you know, about uh, coach postulates, and it says, you know, a virus must be available in sufficient quantities in a diseased person, you know, for it to be blamed for causing a disease. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, white people hid the information about yourself they didn't want to tell you you were a great person let me give you examples of